Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you two really cool rotary desk telephones. The yellow telephone is a Western Electric and the red one is an AT&T. This is Robert's equipment from Washington. And we have a note along with the telephones of some of the things that Robert wants done to these two telephones. He wants specific phone numbers for the yellow one, he wants a number, and then for the red one, he wants a different number under the finger wheel. And so we'll be installing the numbers that he specified that he wants we also want to go through the rotaries on both telephones. We want to make sure that they're oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. Now the red telephone is a modular telephone. It has modular ports for the handset, the body, and the line cord. And we want to give you a look at these two telephones. We have them apart. We want to go through the bells, make sure that they're ringing. We want to make sure everything at the network is working properly and the connections are proper. We'll go through the hook switch. So we want to kind of go through a little bit of everything on both of these telephones. The yellow telephone is a hardwired telephone and we're going to leave it that way because that's the way it came in. And it's kind of cool to see the older style hardwired telephones. We'll give you a look at the inside of this one. And just like on the red one, we want to go through the network, the bells. We want to make sure everything's working properly. Robert did tell me it looked like something like the line cord had been ripped out at some point, and it has been. So we'll go back to a hardwired line cord, but with a modular plug so he can simply plug in to any modern jack. So we want to go through a little bit of everything on these two telephones and get them repaired for Robert. So we'll go ahead and get a start on these and we'll take a short break and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we're going to show a little bit about what's going on. We're into the rotaries of both telephones, and we're oiling, cleaning, and adjusting these rotaries. And we want to make sure that they're dialing properly. We're also finding a few things that are wrong. We have a wire here that has been uh, broken off, and so there's some uh, various issues along with uh, the repair of these telephones. We're finding little things here and there and uh, we want to get all that repaired up. We also want to go through the hook switches. We want to go into the hook switches and clean them and make sure that if they need to be adjusted in any way that uh, that's all taken care of. So we're going to go ahead and finish up working on the rotaries. Then we're going to go ahead and change the phone numbers. Each one's going to get their own phone number and then we'll go from there. We'll come back and we'll get some more video. We also, while we're inside the telephones, go through the networks and the bells like we mentioned earlier. So we'll go ahead and take a short break. We'll finish up that work and then we'll come back and get some more video. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we're going to show a little bit about what's going on. We have a line cord installed on the yellow telephone now and we have a line cord that is on the red phone and what we want to do is we want to plug the yellow telephone in. We'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is we want to hang the hook switch up but we want to ring this telephone and every time you see this red light go by what will happen is that's a ring cycle. So let's start ringing the telephone that was one cycle, that was a second ring, we'll let it go one more time, that was the third one, 
go ahead and give you some dial tone. So we know that this telephone is not ringing. We want to unplug that unit. We want to use the other line cord and plug it in. We'll give you some dial tone here. We want to hang the hook switch up and we want to ring the red phone. That's one ring cycle. That's the second ring cycle. We'll let it go one more time. And that's the third ring cycle. We'll answer the telephone. So we know, we'll go ahead and unplug it, that neither one of these telephones are working. So now what we want to do is we want to repair the bell circuits on both of these telephones. So we'll take a short break and we'll repair the bell circuits and we'll get some more video as we move forward in the repair of these two telephones. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we want to do some checks before we put the two units back together again. The bell issue on the red and yellow telephone has been resolved. We also replaced the modular line port for the line cord on the red telephone. You can use these when they're cracked, but this one has lost the side there. And so what we wanted to do is go ahead and replace that. We can go ahead and remove that. It's of no use to us. And we want to go ahead and do some checking. So we'll go ahead and hold the hook switch down on the red unit and we'll plug the line cord in. We'll give you some dial tone. We'll hang that unit up and we'll ring it with the analyzer. I'll let it go one more time. Give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is remove that line cord. We'll go over to the yellow unit. We'll plug that in. Give you some dial tone. We'll hold the hook switch down on the yellow one and we'll go ahead and ring that bell. Give you some dial tone. And we can unplug the unit now. We adjusted the bells for the most sensitivity, the most action, because these bells will pull pretty much Ren out of the line on a ring cycle. So we want to set them up so that they have the most action. We make them as sensitive as we can. That way we can almost be assured that they'll ring in any situation. So that's been taken care of. And now that we know that these two telephones are ringing, we can go ahead and put the units back together again and start working on the number cards under the finger wheels. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with a repair of these two telephones. We've also included the number cards that Robert wanted. There was a specific number for the red telephone and a specific number for the yellow telephone and we have that personal information covered up. So now what we want to do is we want to start our final checks and we're going to start with the yellow unit and we'll go ahead and ring it. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. We'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. If you watch the numbers roll by here on the analyzer, I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So every time you see that red light on the analyzer light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So we also want to go ahead and use the red phone now and test it. So we'll go ahead and unplug the yellow one and go back over to the red and we'll ring this unit. 
We'll let that go a few times. We'll let it go one more time. Give you some dial tone. We'll go ahead and walk through our numbers if you want to watch the analyzer. I'm going to end in a 2. We want to transmit into this one. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, just like before, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So now what we can do, since we know that these telephones are ringing in on a ring cycle, they're dialing out, they have transmit and receive, we can go back over to the yellow unit and we can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we can call a time and temp number. Now they're having some issues with their equipment. You'll hear the recording start, you'll hear a hum, and then the recording will continue. That's on their end, has nothing to do with what we're doing. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll call that number. Now that we know that these two telephones have been repaired, we can return them to Robert and he can enjoy these telephones now. Two very cool Western Electric telephones, even though this is an AT&T, it's basically a Western Electric, it just has the AT&T name on it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at wwwa one telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.